Welcome back to Sophisticated Teacher. I'm going to show you how to make a jumpsuit. The supplies you will need will be a sewing machine, pins, polyester, and three yards of stretch knit. Cross your blouse that you're going to use to trace. Make sure it's a fitted blouse because this will be a fitted jumpsuit or make it as loose as you like. Leave a half inch seam allowance. You're going to cut it in a color block, which means I'm cutting two on the color and I'm also cutting two on the black and white stripes or paintbrush. After you cut that piece out, leaving a half inch seam allowance, and I'm not because I want my jumpsuit to be really tight and it's a stretch knit fabric. Measure your strap from your shirt. Use that measurement to cut out your strap on a fold and you're going to cut the fold and then cut out your strap and this should help you make two straps at one time okay after you do that you will see you have two strap pieces fold your strap in half the long way or hot dog and then leave a straight stitch well make sure you do a stretch stitch you're going to flip that inside out after you flip your strap inside out, you're just going to push and pull, or you can use a loop turner. A loop turner would be a lot quicker. Cut out your back bodice piece from the same blouse. You're using the same blouse, so it's cut correctly. Cut it on the fold, and double fold your fabric. That way you cut two pieces at one time. Lay out your pieces. Make sure they're color block. As you can see, I have color on one side and stripes on the other. Put your strap down and then lay it in between your two pieces of fabric. Make sure the right sides are laying together. You're going to sew down the sides at the top, the side across the front, and then across the strap. After you do that, you're going to clip notches and your extra thread there. And I'll show you how that's done. So clip the side of your strap on each side. That way it's not bulky when you flip it inside out. Now you're going to lay out your fabric piece for your bodice front and back and you're gonna clip it inside out. And as you can see, it's also lined so it shouldn't be see-through either. Flip that inside out after you flip that bad boy inside out, you're going to lay it out so that you can look at it and see if it's straight. Lay a bodice back. The widest part of your bodice should be the top of your bodice. And I'm just showing you what they look like. When you lay your pattern pieces out, you're going to lay your bodice backs right side together. Now I'm taking the front of my bodice piece and I'm laying out where I want my strap to go. You're going to do the same thing with the other side of your bodice and take the bodice back and lay it across the top and then you're going to sew where you see my hand got and then you're going to sew that down and then you should be able to flip it inside out now the way you're going to attach the bodice pieces one side here is showing you how they're attached and then the other side is showing you how i pinned it down with the right sides together. I pinned it down by flipping the right sides together and then pinning them together. And put as many pins as you like, I just didn't need a whole lot. After you pin everything down, I'm gonna show you where I sewed it down so it's easy for you to see. And watch where my hand guides you. Okay, I sewed that down and then I flipped it inside out. Now I'm folding over the right sides together because now I'm going to pin all of that down and I'm also going to sew it. After I sewed that down, I cut out the first block for my pant piece. The first block for the front, I believe, is going to be, actually that's the back. So you're going to trace your first pant piece out on the stripes for the back of your pants. You're going to take that piece, but you see how I have it laying there? You're going to flip that over. You need the right sides facing together so you don't make the same pant leg. 
After you do all of that and you have your pattern pieces together, you're going to go ahead and cut that out. But you want to make sure you also leave an allowance for your waist. So don't just cut it face value. Make sure the top and the bottom of your pants, I'm sorry, the bottom of your waist for your bodice and the top of your pants meet when you cut it out. Now you're gonna do the stripe for the front of your pant block. And as you can see, the crotch of the pants looks different. After you cut out your front pant piece on the stripe, you're going to make sure you're leaving a one half inch seam allowance and also flare your pant out as much as you would like or as little as you would like. After you leave your one half inch seam allowance, you're going to have the right sides facing together and you're gonna go ahead and cut that out. Once you've cut all of that out with your right sides facing together, please make sure the right sides are facing together. Go ahead and cut that out. And make sure that once you're cutting all of that out, you have the correct sides facing each other. Okay, after you cut all that out, make sure that you, and I keep saying make sure, when you're sewing, you're taking your time, you spent your money on your fabric, so I know you're making sure of everything. Take your front pant legs, face them together, pin them at the crotch, sew it down, and then you're going to sew your, you're gonna pin your pants together, and at the inner legs and the outer leg seams, you're going to sew it down. Then flip your pants, with the wrong side out. Use the middle crotch to find where you're going to pin the middle of your bodice. And make sure when you, sorry, put the front of your pant legs together, pin it down. After you pin your front and your back bodice pieces together after lining them up, do your side seams the same and then sew it down where my hands are guiding you. And then that should be all that you have to do. On a worst case scenario, this might take two hours, but this is really easy. Thank you so much. One love. God bless.